Let's take a look at these examples. This time we're supposed to find the base of the logarithm. But keep in mind, the base has to be greater than 0 and not equal to 1. So, we have to convert the logarithmic form to the exponential first. So, if x to the second power is equal to 64. So I can say that this is x equals plus minus square root of h to the second power. Square root and the exponent will cancel out. And I have x equals plus minus 8. I got two answers, positive 8 and negative 8. But keep in mind that the base of every logarithm has to be positive. That's why I'm going to just choose the positive answer. So the final answer to my problem is equal x equal 8. This is the solution. Let's take a look at the next one. I'm going to convert the logarithmic form to the exponential one more time. I have x to the 4 equals 16. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this as x equals plus minus 4 root of 16. So, this is equal x equals plus minus 4 root 2 to the 4th power. 4 root and 4 will cancel out and I have x equals plus minus 2. Please keep in mind that the base must be positive. I got two answers. I got positive 2 and negative 2. So the final answer to my problem is going to be always positive. x equals positive 2. This is the solution. Next one. I have to convert logarithmic form to the exponential. I have x to power 1 half equals 7. In order to find value of x, I have to eliminate this exponent. How I can eliminate the fraction from the exponent? Simply by raising both sides of the equation to the power which is equal to the denominator of this fractional exponent. So I have to raise to the second power. 2 and 2 will cancel out and I have x is equal 49. Keep in mind that the base has to be greater than 0 and different than 1. In our case, x is equal 49. So this is correct answer to our problem.